Uh, what are we looking at here, guys? Uh, the Capcom Unity, uh, Ralston here, along with Darren, and uh, from the Capcom store. Howdy. And uh, we're here to talk really quick about the Street Fighter 20th Anniversary chess set. When we started to design this, we wanted it to be a clean look, wanted it to be very uh, 25th anniversary, so we went black and silver, kept it very high-end, very clean, and we laser etched the 25th anniversary logo in the top, and you'll see these little divots, we'll explain those in a minute. Heavy-duty chrome latching and hinges, uh, mm -hmm. these are really, really nice hinges, it stops right there. We've got the... The, uh, the sheet there that tells you how everything lays out, where all the pieces are, how they fit into the, uh, the case, of the, the foam pieces underneath. This is a smoked and sandblasted. <laughs> smoked and salmon, I thought you were going to <laughs> Sandblasted. Delicious. Board. Um, when we first started looking at these, we were looking at etching, and it came out extremely uneven. So we found that sandblasting gave us a nice, even, uh, even consistency on the squares. And these things are in there. You could take this thing and shake it around. They're not going to move. Corresponding uh, pieces. So the good guys have a uh, fist for pawns, and the bad guys, of course, have the shadow loose skull. A specific fist, I believe. Uh, it looks a lot like Ryu's fist. Mm -hmm. fist. So moving from the left on the good guy side, we have a uh, Zangif, which he's a rook. Um, and one of the cool things about uh, the chess set is that if we go to the other side of the, the light side, mm -hmm. the other rook is not another Zangief. It's actually a different oh. character, so we get more characters in there. So we have Dalsim, and these are our two rooks. So uh, For the two knights, we have uh, Blanca and Honda. Again, uh, you can see their symbols down there on the bottom to tell you what they are. And instead of two Blancas or two Hondas, you get new characters for the same piece. And Bishop's Guile with the sunglasses on and Ken looking rather fetching with his gi open. And of course, rounding it out, we have uh, Ryu as the king and Chun-Li as the queen, as would be customary for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Street Fighter. Two rooks for the bad guy side, we have Seth and Sagat. And for knights, we have uh, Rolento with his grenades hanging off his chest there, and Akuma, which I think, I don't know if knowing Akuma, kind of got shortchanged being just a knight. And bishops on the bad guy side, uh, Two perennial bosses for Bison, uh, Balrog and Vega. Yeah, Vega's actually my favorite sculpt. Uh, he's the, actually the only one who has has an arm. Yeah, the rest are all busts, and he's actually got his arm, so you can see his claws. Yeah, to show off the claw. Very cool. And ending things for the bad guy side, we have uh, Bison and Jury as king and queen. And uh, again, ra uh, kind of being the opposites of uh, Ryu and Chun-Li. So even though Jury just showed up, she gets a pretty prominent placement in this chest set, which is pretty cool. So, are you going to finally show what those divots are for? Yep. This becomes your display table, and this sits right on top in those divots. And this thing comes in at about 22 pounds. And so the reaction at uh, Comic-Con, we actually sold how many? Like... We essentially sold out uh, within two days, preview night and the next night. Yeah, and I would have thought... These things at $400 a piece. Yeah, they were 400 bucks, which now... Now we're at $299.95 on the store. Um, and this is a Capcom store exclusive. Capcom store exclusive, exactly. The set can be gotten on the Capcom store. It's shop.capcom.com. Leave the www off at the beginning. You just put in shop.capcom.com. It's right on the front page, and uh, they'll be shipping, like I said, within a week, week and a half.